Hi, today we are going to learn the first program in VHDL, a very basic program in Xilinx software. So, quickly review the last previous tutorial. Let's open the let's open the Xilinx software. Yesterday we have created one program named as named as a logic gates. Let's open that project. So we have here the list demo. As you can see in my previous tutorial, I have created a folder called demo, and we have there written a program name called logic. So by taking this, we will go to that same program. here by double clicking it we got here just double click on it and we'll get here the program so as you can see here the spelling is wrong so i am writing it clearly logic get if you change the entity name then the entity end of the entity also should be changed and the architecture behavior of logic get here the logic gate we are writing this entity for this entity we are writing the logic here architecture in the architecture so we are gi giving the name as logic gate and since we are doing in behavior model we get got here behavior or we can write any other name also the same name should be written here also so let us now do the operations of logic gate so basically we have three gates nothing but and gate or gate and not gate so let us type c <coughs> used to a and b where and is the keyword which performs the and logical and operation similar fashion we can have other also others other also we can perform same fashion so now this is the and gate operation you can see here now for simulation just select it go to icm simulator just check this syntax you want to save yes just check this syntax here we here it is a console window where we will get errors or errors are present or not here the errors warnings and results are present so i am taking the console window it is saying that behavioral syntax is completely successful so for simulation purpose just click on simulate behavior model now we will verify the output as i have already told icm is the tool where we can see the our output so icm here is present just i am giving a force constant so here you have different signal we can i can change the signal color to red or any other color also i can take a as red next b as brown and the output should be, output i can take it as a green <coughs> so as you can see i am giving one constant i am taking zero zero as my first input and just run it so i got the result as zero zero two values next zero and one since we have given already zero so i am taking only b i am giving it one and just run it so if we zoom zoom out then we will get correct symbol this is the high impedance state it is neither logic 1 nor logic 0 logic 1 nor logic 0 so we can cancel it so here is the zero value it is logic zero it is also logic zero and it is the logic one and it is logic zero so we can see that zero into zero zero 
zero zero into one zero. Next, I am giving it as force constant one one into one. One into one, I got one result. In similar fashion, we can obtain the val the output results. So every time giving the values and checking the values is difficult. So uh, here there is a re relaunch button. You can relaunch it again. Oh, I relaunch it. I don't want to save it, so I have pressed no. If you want to save the output, you can save it. And the code for this will be present in my description. See, if I give a force clock here, I am giving it as one. This is nothing but edge value, positive edge and negative edge, and the time period I am giving it is a hundred. And then okay, here I am giving force clock as a negative edge, zero, one. And give the time period differently, and just run it. So here we got different values. To see it clearly, just zoom it. By zooming it, we'll get the values. See, here we got. The values. See, it is logic one into one. See, as you can see here, one into one, one zero into one zero. In similar fashion, one into zero zero, one into one. All the logic values will be will be getting in this manner. We are we. Are, there is no need for giving always the input as zero one zero one as four constant. I can give it the input as from the clock also force clock also. So this is the simple program for AND gate logical AND gate. In similar fashion, we can do it for OR gate also. <coughs> OR gate, NOT gate. For NOT gate, only single input is required. So not of this. Just save it. See, it is uh, there is a error. So not uh, not then the signal value we should give similar fashion NAND gate also a NAND gate. Nor. And all the gates we can XOR also we can give, and all the logic gates can be implemented in this fashion. This is the first basic program with two inputs as a, two as inputs and one as output. We will take three input AND gate, and we will solve how to do three input AND gate with this, because AND or OR will take only two inputs. And the but in three input we can't perform with with this AND gate. So how to perform the AND gate operation for three inputs we'll be seeing in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe me and if you have any comments just comment below. I will be replying for your comments.